you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. With good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Oh, it's you. What are you doing here? <sighs> What's this about? I'm sorry. Were you expecting someone else? No, no, it's, it's fine. What do you want? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Well, you're not the only one. And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. If someone called, it must have been Beast. I certainly didn't. Okay, I... You know, if you had just kept your mouth shut about me, Beast wouldn't have lost his head over at the open arms. He never would have even found the place. And I wouldn't have had to spend the night defending myself for keeping secrets with Bigby Wolf. I lost my job because of you. I needed that. Who's there? Beauty? Look, I'm coming in. So, uh, let's not get into busting down doors today, all right? Bigby's here. Hi, Bigby. Can you give us a minute? A word in private? I think that's a good idea. Hmm. I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Now, Beauty, let's not make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? Was one minute too much to ask? Sorry, we've had a long night. Yeah, what's that you always say? Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh... Expensive. What's that supposed to mean? Beauty! What? It's a fair question. I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Snow told me you went to her for some financial help. Did you end up going to the Crooked Man? That's part of it, but... We can't bring him into this. He's just going to make things worse. He always does. Well, he's here now, so let's see what he can do. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. Look, I'm not here to referee. You called me, okay? So cut the bullshit and quit wasting my time. Just answer me this first. What if we did have some information on the Crooked Man? If we talk, we're putting ourselves at risk. Could you protect us? I've seen what happens when you cross him. You are in danger. You two need to cooperate so I can get the crooked man off the street. You don't want to be next. But if you'd rather deal with this on your own... Bigby, don't leave. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. You get used to a certain way of doing things, and sometimes it just gets away from you. I just wanted to give Beauty the kind of life she deserves. You understand that, don't you? And there's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Maybe I should... A day at hey, the beach? we're not done Being yet. the slopes? I should... <laughs> So leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> humanly possible. Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. The crooked man's gonna get his ah, one way this. or another. Shit. All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go?
The lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. You could have told me. You had enough on your plate. Besides, it didn't seem like such a bad deal when Jersey Devil was explaining it. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. Y you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. You're telling me that with a place like this, you're so hard up that you need to work for the crooked man? The guy you're so afraid of? Bullshit. It's not like he runs the counter and hands me the boxes. I never met the guy. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. So you do their dirty work. And look the other way. Work is work. All I do is deliver stuff. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. Fuck off. There are a lot of fables who have it a lot worse off than you. Or me, for that matter. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. I'm going to the Lucky Pond. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well... Maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Dirty. Malice note. It looks like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. Jack, why are you... I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh. Really? What? Bigby's here. Come back later, Toad. I have stuff to do. Wait, wait, wait. Another second, all right? 
I'm just trying to do a bit of business. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic. So? And it'd be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Why would you think I'd take an ugly used mule skin coat? Maybe I didn't make myself clear just now. Get the fuck out, Toad. Now. Before I confiscate that coat. Whoa, if it's even on the business office's radar. I want no part of it. No sale. Good night, Irene. You blasted coward. Thanks for nothing, Sheriff. Posing on the common man he is would be so tough if he wasn't a sheriff and he didn't have a teeth or the claws or the... Oh, bollocks. If you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? Have a good day. Drop by any time. Eh, fuck you too. It really grows on you. Look, I work here sometimes for the extra cash. It's something stable. You know, between more entrepreneurial bouts. Bloody Mary works for the Crooked Man. And the last time I saw her, she had the Woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Is this really why you came down here? The Woodsman's Axe? Because I don't know anything about it. Yeah, it's why I came down here. It'll lead me right to the Crooked Man if I can track it. He's been sending people to kill me. And I'd like to have a little chat about that. Was the Axe here? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I think I'd notice a giant mystical axe. And that's saying something. Since, you know, I can sometimes miss the obvious. Beauty told me the axe was here. She told me about a lot of things. Look, people get desperate, and when you're drowning, anything that isn't sinking along with you looks like a life raft. The crooked man gives, and he wants things in return. And when you don't pay up, bad stuff happens. Why do you think I've never taken one? A little credit card fraud never hurt anybody. I should know. Where's the manager? Why isn't he here? Maybe I'm the manager. You ever think of that? I know you aren't. So where is he? I don't know. I don't keep tabs on him. He's probably out getting shit-faced and eating cows right now. Listen, I gotta start closing up shop, so, uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run at odd hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so... Can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in, so uh... I want to check stuff out here first. If this is a crooked man place, maybe something here will help me find him. Can't you Shut just... Shut up, Jack. If the Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions, it also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around, as long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. Reminds me of Briar Rose. You're not touching anything, are you? Oh, okay then. Just my luck. Hey, look with your eyes, not your hands, okay? You'd never take something like this. Uh, uh, what? I, I, do, I don't, uh... You're a lying piece of shit, Jack. Oh, okay, come on, Bigby. That the wasn't... The axe was right here all along. Now tell me what happened to it. 
I don't know anything about that. I don't, really. I mean, I don't work every day, so... Uh... Uh! What happened to the axe? Okay, okay. Fucking jeez, take it easy. It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. Sometimes it's for her. You know where she lives? Where she took it? I don't know where that crazy chick lives. And I don't want to know. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... Don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... That's my fucking system. But you... You're the guy who makes sure I'm the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Grant said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. Hiya, fellas. Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Bigby? What is are his you... axe even here? Nope. It isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? And you. I can't believe you'd even show your face in here. After what you did to our guy, Tweedledum. So tell me what you're here for, or get the fuck out. Uh, he wanted to know where... Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. If I were you, I'd watch my tone about now. Uh, how's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a stink, don't she? Jack, did you know that as of this very morning... Bigby's joined the Crooked Man's Obedience School for Wayward Fucking Creatures? He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer. Been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the Crooked Man snapped his bony fingers, and Bigby handed him over, just like that. I'm, uh, just gonna, uh, let you two, you know. Go fuck yourself, Jersey. Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> you piece of shit. <clears throat> I'm gonna rip your fucking lungs out. I'd like to see you try, you backwards <clears throat> fuckwit. Oh, big talk. You won't be talking when I'm done with you. Yes, yeah, I'll be laughing. <laughs> How you feeling today, Sheriff? Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. Ah, you fucking motherfucker! Oh, motherfucker! What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now, dog. You got a lot of nerve.
So, wanna try again? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. There's no address, no place. He lives in the bends and forks of tree roots, behind the sun, in the <coughs> shadows. That's not good enough. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around, never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. That fucking guy. <laughs> oh, mirror, mirror. <laughs> I can't use the magic mirror right now. Oh no? Why not? Because I just can't, that's why. You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. That useless bitch Snow White in a Broken fucking mirror. Oh! The next thing you say better be something useful. It doesn't matter what you fucking do. You're not gonna get him. You wanna knock on his fucking door and see what happens? Fine. Crane had the mirror. Bloody Mary had Crane. So take your fucking wrecking crew act to the butcher shop. The cut above. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the Crooked Man. That's her spot. That's where all the magic happens. Now leave me, so I can find some aspirin. Oh, oh. He ain't going anywhere. Why just tell me this? Are you trying to rush me out of here? I'm trying to make a point, dog. You can have all the information you fucking want. It's not gonna help you when the time comes. And that time, it's a coming. You got what you want. Now get the fuck out of here. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's... Nothing you could do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh! Yeah, shut the fuck up, will ya? Out of smoke? What do I look like, huh? You really want to know? I should have hit you with this thing. Shitty brand, anyway. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? about those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Believe me, that's all I've been doing this whole damn time. All right, we'll go do it then. 